What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends 80 Years of Marvel Alex Ross inspired The Mighty Thor. Here we do have Thor in the packaging. What we're gonna do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll have a better look at the God of Lightning. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have the Mighty Thor posing out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually run through Thor's accessories. Thor does come with two alternate left hands. He comes with the open hand that he has on him right now. And then we also do get a fist for his left hand. Thor also does come with Mjolnir, which I really do love this accessory. And I do like the fact it has the Thor inscription. So that's something I really, really do like about this figure. Other than that, Thor doesn't come with anything else. We don't get an alternate right hand. We don't get... Uh, no lightning effects, no nothing. It's just Thor with the hammer and two left hands, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's still a really nice looking figure. So what we're going to do now is actually get a closer look at Thor. And so here we have a closer look at Thor, and this is a really classic looking Thor, and I really do think the classic looking Thor is probably the best version of Thor. I do like the head sculpt that they went with. It's a really nice representation of the Alex Ross Thor. I really do like the golden flowing hair that he has on him right here. And then I especially love the helmet, even though it is a marbleized silver plastic. It still looks really good. The wings are done in a marbleized white plastic and they do have a pearlescent feel to them, so I do like that. And they are well detailed. I really do like the detailing in these feathers. Now, I know that the wings are supposed to be out like this. They're just like this because of how they came out of the packaging. Something I do want to point out is that his helmet, the wings, and his hair, they're all separate pieces, and they're all molded in their respective plastics. So we have his hair, which is molded in the blonde, the pearlescent white wings, and then the silver hat is all just one color. I know it's a helmet, and I just said hat. I'm sorry about that. So we have different plastics for each one, and that just makes it look better. And it does prevent paint error, which I do like that about this figure. Moving on to his costume, you can see he does have the six discs, which I honestly don't know what they're meant for, but they do look cool, and they are painted really well. They are painted in silver, and they all look really good. So kudos to Hasbro for being able to give us this Thor. Looking at his arms, he does reuse the arms from Hercules from the Thanos Build-A-Figure series. And it's a really good choice of arms because it's beefy, it's muscular, it's vascular. I really do like the veins running down the arm. His wristbands right here are separate pieces, so you do want to be careful when changing out his hands because those might fly off. Really do like that we do get his hand for holding Mjolnir. Unfortunately, he only gets one hand to hold Mjolnir. Uh, on this side, we have an open palm hand, so you really can't have him holding anything. Looking at his belt, you can see it does have the T for Thor, some wings on the side, and I like the fact that it's just a floating piece. It's not uh, a separate piece. If anything, you can actually see inside there a little bit, and it's just... The peg going into the ball joint right here, and this is just a floating piece, so that's really interesting that they went that way. His cape does peg in at the top of his shoulders, and it's done really well. You can see it comes down the way it should, and it, it's all flowing in one direction, and it's done in a softer plastic, which I do like that. Unfortunately, it's still a heavy plastic, so it does make him a little bit back heavy. Looking at his lower torso, we can see that the black does continue onto his legs, where we do have his blue tights, which look really well. And you can see some fold lines in the tights, so that's a really nice little detail there. His boots are, of course, wrapped with this yellow gold plastic. And then you can see this leathery... It's supposed to be a leather boot, but you can see it does have some texturing on it, so I do like that little detail. You can see the wrapping is done well, and then you can see some of his boot or the leather parts just sticking out through those wraps. So really like that. 
And then we do have some little gold decal decals right here on his boots. So overall, that's a really nice figure. And he's a really nice looking figure, which I do appreciate that. So what we're going to do now is actually get Thor compared to a few other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Thor posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Thor posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Thor posed next to the 80 Years Alex Ross Captain America and the 80 Years Alex Ross Iron Man. And finally here we have the 80 Years Thor posed next to the Marvel Now Thor. And so with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to Thor's articulation. Now Thor does sport the standard Marvel Legends articulation and as you can expect it is hindered in some areas. Such as his head where he can look down and up because his head is on a disc ball jointed. And it does go down which looks really good. It doesn't really go up because of his hair but... He does sort of, kind of, sort of look up, so that's pretty good. We got no head tilt. His head can turn left and right. You just got to move his hair out of the way, and you can get that the way it is. But it's a lot of hassle, so I wish there was a way they could have done this. Maybe have the cape lower. I don't know. There's so, there's so many ways that this could have been done. But arms are on a ball hinge. They do go out to about that far. They do a full 360. They do kick out to the side because of the way his shoulder is designed right here. You can see it goes up. And even though the torso is a flexible piece, it still kicks out to the side a little bit. And you do got to watch out for the cape. He does have a bicep swivel, which works really well. Double bend in the elbows, giving us really good range. He does have a swivel and vertical hinge right here on his left hand. And on the right hand, we have... Well, this is our vertical hinge because it moves up and down and we have a horizontal hinge right here. We do have a ball joint on Thor which goes back a surprising amount of distance. It goes back really far. Goes forward not so much. Goes to the side. Really good. Really good to both sides. We do have some rotation right here so really good movement just here in his torso. We do have a waist swivel which works really well. Kind of loose on mine. But that's okay, legs do kick out forward to about there, kick back, kick out to the side. Better than Spider-Man figures. How are these guys getting better range than Spider-Man? I'll never understand that. We do have a swivel at the thigh, double bend in the knee, and he has such chunky legs that we don't get double, but it looks really good. And I do like the fact that his knee is hidden behind this covering on the Marvel Now Thor, this would have been its own piece, so I am glad about that. We do have a swivel at the boot, sort of, where it is hidden amongst the wrapping, so that doesn't stand out too much. We have a hinge in the ankle, which goes back and forward. A little loose on mine, especially on the right side. On the left side, not as loose, but this is really loose, so I do worry about that. And forward-facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, really good articulation here on Thor. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Marvel Legends 80 Years of Marvel Alex Ross Thor pose for my final thoughts. That is a really big mouthful. But overall, I really like the way this figure came out. Thor isn't probably my favorite Marvel character, but this is such a really good figure. I really can't say anything negative about him. He is mostly all new sculpt work, and that's really impressive seeing as how the only reuse on him I can see are his arms. And that's really, really good. Hasbro normally just repaints a figure and calls it a day. This figure shows a lot of care was taken into consideration for the 80 years Alex Ross figures. If you can find this store, I really do recommend you add him to your collection. Especially if you have that bulky Marvel Now Thor, which I really wasn't a fan of. I think this is a much better representation of the character and has a really good place to be on my shelf. If you are looking for this store, they are starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video. So check your Walmarts, Targets, and anywhere else you pick up your figures. I actually found my Thor and Iron Man at GameStop, so if you are looking for Thor, try GameStop, Walmart, Target, or even online retailers. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, 
Go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Marvel Legend videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see in me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And, I can't stress this enough, but ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I have been told that a lot of my subscribers aren't seeing my videos. You gotta ring that bell notification with the way YouTube is running now, so that's something I do want to stress. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.